So that's one example. Another example is one like this, where usually we're measuring out grams just have a mole sample already set up. So what if we already know how many grams we have? Okay, so in this case, when we look at, okay, what's given to us, we are given this number, 1.5 grams of NaCl. Okay, and it's in a pan, <clears throat> and then the cook adds water until there is 200 and 75 milliliters of solution. So we have 275 milliliters of solution. Well, what is the solution? It's just dissolved NaCl or table salt, sodium chloride, in water. Anything else? No, I don't see anything else. So let's look at what does the question want me to find? Here's my question words. What is? So what is the? Well, we're looking for molarity. The molarity is capital M. Okay, go back. What equation would we need or use for this one? And this one, again, is the molarity equation. Molarity equals moles over liters. Now compare what the equation says to what you are given. Okay, we are given grams and we are given milliliters. So right now we don't have either moles or liters. But what you have to have figured out is we can actually change the milliliters into liters. And if you are comfortable in understanding the idea of molar mass, you can change grams into moles. Okay, so I'm going to do that as the first step. We are going to convert 1.5 grams of NaCl into moles. How do we do that? Well, we need the periodic table. So to look at our periodic tables, we have to find NaCl. Right? This right here. So here's Na. Right? So Na, <clears throat> excuse me, is 22.99. And that's how many grams you would have if you had one mole. And our formula only has one of those. I'm just going to multiply that by one. Okay. CL is right here. 35.45. Okay. And again, in our chemical formula, we only have one of those. So multiply that by one. And then you simply add them together. 9 plus 5 is 14, carry my 1, 10, 14, carry my 1, 7, 8, and now I have 58.44, and that's grams per mole, or grams per one mole. Now, one mole is actually kind of the key thing. So, now we set up our math. In our conversion, you take what you have, you're going to multiply it by your conversion, fraction or factor, okay, and when you're done, you should always end with the units that you want. So we have 1.5 grams, and in a conversion fraction, you want the units to cancel, in which case they have to go on opposite sides if you have a multiply sign in there. So in that case, the 58.4 four grams is going to have to go on the bottom. What goes on top? Well, what is that 58.44 grams actually equal to? That's what should go on top. That's equal to one mole. So this is saying if you had one mole of NaCl, it would weigh 58.44 grams. But what if we scaled that all the way down to 1.5 grams? How much of a mole do we have? That's what the question is asking. Okay, so again, take my calculator. I'm going to, that's a dividing problem now, 1.5 divided by 58.44, and I get 87.6. I'm sorry, I multiplied. <laughs> Always look at your answer to make sure it makes sense. 1.5 divided by 58.44. 
not 87, 0 0.02, and I'm going to do at least two non-zero decimal places, 0 0.026 moles. Is that my answer? No, that's all, so I have my number up here. So this is going to be 0 0.026 moles. Now, how do I get my liters? I got to do the same thing, but I got to convert my 275 milliliters now into liters. And again, just do a conversion. What do we have? We have 275 milliliters. Conversion fraction, I want milliliters to cancel, so milliliters has to go on the bottom, and I want it to become liters, so liters goes on the other side. Well, I have to remember that 1,000 milliliters equals one liter, okay? So I'm going to divide that by 1,000. Dividing by 1,000 just moves the decimal point three places. So this decimal point was right there. Moves three places, and it's going to be smaller. I'm going to have 0 0.275 liters. Where does that number go? That number goes right here. Now I solve. 0 0.026 divided by 0.275 gives me this answer right here. 0 0.09, and again, I'm going to go at least two, that's key, at least two non-zero decimal places. My units do not cancel, so the units are moles over liters. So that's another molarity type question. Again, if you have any questions, please send those my way. Uh, also, another way to let me know if this video is working well for you or not, if you could like it, that'd be good so that I know that this is the type of thing that is working and it looks good. Uh, if you have any comments, please also list those comments. I'm always looking for improvement. So enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions.